so we can get moving. My apologies again. Good morning, everyone, again. My apologies I'm for the late start. Uh, Imam, you have the floor. Can we give us some advice, please? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن سرار المسلمين وسرار الذين آمنوا تأليهم غير المعدوب عليهم ولا الدالين وإن تستفتحوا فقد جاءكم الفتح نصر من الله وفتح قريب وبشر المؤمنين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل الله أحد الله سمع لم يلد ولا يولد ولا يولد الله أكبر أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من صار ما خلق أو من صار قاسق إجابة أو من صار نفاذ هذا في الوجد أو من صار حاسد إجابة حسب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر وسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين شكرا إمام سي بشاب we have the floor please thank you chairman Lord God Almighty, God of mercy, God of grace, God of love, 
and God of compassion. Praise, honor, and glory and might be unto your name forever and ever. As we continue to sit in the TRRC uh, this Tuesday morning hour, we continue to pray for the whole Gambian populace, those that are here and those that are in the diaspora. We continue to pray that you will give us patience in our hearts as we go through the process of hearing from witnesses violations that have been caused to them, hurt of the people in their families, that the due process will take its course, and that of your mercy and grace, you will grant that the people of this land will be reconciled to one another, and that love will be the watchword of every person, citizen of this nation. And so help us to decipher between truth and falsehood. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much indeed, Dr. Bishop Odeko. Council, uh, we ready with um, this morning's witness. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, commissioners, and members of the audience. Uh, we are ready for this morning's hearings, and uh, Sagar Thomas Jahate would lead the witness. Thank you. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. I Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners, and good morning, members of the audience. Ako alisama chairman, alisama komisionalu, alisama lamuirlalu, luntango isama. Alisama chairmanul, alisama. Ani 
aka kontondiro le kawnya mam fu tete mo follow ajara ah okay and good morning madam jai how are you this morning ako isa ma madam jai ni so man da dum ibe nyaadi le alhamdulillah ma sant ala tentu thank you for um coming to the commission and agreeing to testify today ako inumbara isonta pour kana commission to kana cede yaro la bi abe abe numbara la wakan abe te ya tan fona tentu wakan she said that's good she's also extending thanks to you thank you too um i hope you're seated comfortably akaya mera isi kutale katwa laftale yesi si nyamente batandila yeda ha ha si kutale i'm properly seated you can lean back in your chair if you want to akoni lafta isi sembe fang ye ko sembe ha nimbata si yola ndo sembe la well when i'm tired of sitting like this i will i lean back Very well and just draw the microphone as well close to your mouth. Ako isi microphone o katandi idala pour ñing kamala be fem fem fula a msa be moy ay senea. Okay. Because this that is the instrument we are going to use to hear you properly in the hearing room. Ako wolam joorangoti mbe muna fan na men na pour que la kuma kangalu moy ay senea mo be ma. Okay bismillah. I also know that you are very soft spoken. Akaya long ko fanang eladia mo buka jam buka sari eladia mo ka ke jama jama du mama famulla So you will need to project your voice a little bit more so that we can hear you Ako to is ki kango selen di domande pour ñing kamala mbesi moy ay senea Ndami fo la bi be wo moy la Well what I'm going to say today everybody will hear that We are glad about that Um also take your statements um in very short um just take them very short your statements ako ni be sataro la fanan ikane la ko molu jam fandi bake kato nyin kamala asi sutia molu sa moy ya faham that is so that the interpreters who will be interpreting your testimony in the different local languages and in english kato ila kuma kango e ba be kan na sor la len na banko kango luto ani angale kango to wala na lafta ko molu sutia pour molu sa moy ya faham nsa ikan na sor no nyamen we be able to follow you pronsi la kumul faham kende ke ngay moy bismillah also listen to my questions uh, clearly ako isa la nyinin karolu fanalu ici e illa moya la kende kende ke pour isa moy okay um listen to my questions clearly and also respond ako bitu naye nyinin ka men wala na ko isi la moy kende ke naye jabi men fanan naye nyinin ka men fanan na isa jabi in a way that our speeches don't overlap and ni be jabiro kala be lam moy la fata ya kango ji ite fana yana diya mo pour allah kuma kango lu kana selenyo kan bismillah i hope that is understood akaya mere ya fahamule a fahamule kay a fo la stu this morning we'll be hearing um from you ko nyin so man dam be lam moy laite la about your ordeal in 2016 ye bata men take 2016 sango kono you will tell us about your arrest ba fula ñe ila muto keta ñami and subsequent detention anin itate sindi dula to daming in various places around the country din kiral to kata banko din kiral to kata including the piu headquarters kata bula wato me ya samba piu la cordato the nia headquarters nia la cordato mile two prisons mile two kasola as well as janjang bure anin janjang bure kasola We will also like to hear about um, the human rights violations that you suffered. Mbe lafi la fanan ka nyim moy ye la hadama ya nyanto lu tiña nyami mbe lafi la ka wo fanan moy during the course of your detention in all of those various places. Waato men ibe muto ko no nyin dinkira lu beto men no fotate. And um we would also like to hear about what impact that that has had on your health. Adu mbe lafi la moy la le wona ta mune sababu ite fanga la hadama ya to kabiri la jata kende ya to fo kata ila ku ku ta ngolto. On your life in general and the life of your family. Anin e fanga la baluo to anin ila dimba ya lu ni badi ngolu fana la ko to ila man toro e mune sima. You will then be given an opportunity to make a final statement. Ni ko lu be banta bitu ibina silo di la e fanan na. Ita fanan lafta mem fola moli e gambian kolu ani ila ya maro mbina fanan lamoy la de bela kumo kum fala dame After the commissioners have um, 
asked you certain questions. Because I do not have a bandy, I will have a question to the commissioner. I will not have a union in Carol, so to new union in Carol, but I will have a slow deal. It is a fun and I will have a car. Mr. Miller, are you ready to proceed with your testimony? I will have a question to the commissioner. Yes. Please give me your full names. Yes. Please give me your full names. Ito mume obe fanya bang. Anto mno go njai res. My name is Nogo Njai. Can you tell us when and where you were born? Afanya. Ibuluta mintole anin sanjuma. Mota Mandina rene. I am from Mandina rene. When were you born? Ihakilo ya mutole ibuluta sangu mbang. Ani mo ihakilo mo mut. No, I cannot recall the date. Do you know how old you are? Ya lo ne bang yesi anji jelle soto. Ani hakilo to muta no. Bari wulu to jawara le masaya kono. No, I cannot recall that, but I was born during the regime of jawara. And where were you born? I wulu to minto le fangoto. Mandinari. In Mandinari. So you were born and raised in Mandinari. Amunta i wulu to Mandinari ne andu ye i kulu to Mandinari ne fanang. Ah. And is that where you currently live? Adung hanim bi besi ringje lebang. Hanim bi besi lewat tu follow. Up to date, that's where I'm still residing. What is your occupation? Bi nyin tembeng ibe mundo ku fason nela. Bi kai mamfen fen keno foni emin Kenya. Today I cannot do anything except that which people are able to do for me. Were you employed at some point before that? Ako fo koma ntono inene kita moja kwenye do kwa soto ika do kwa kibilale to bang. Ah, okay. Mo business lad. Mo business woman. And what kind of business were you engaged in? Ika mo business fason na kenu. Um, follow follow na tata nondo kwa community development kama solo karandi mechola. At first, I was engaged in community development. Uh, teaching women skills. Very important. What do you call teaching? That not a dumb business. So you know, Kabujang Kata Dakar, Kamasani Sulta Kane. You don't trust that. When that uh, I lost that job, I started business, going to Senegal and bring, bringing in goods to sell. That's how well I know. That was what I was doing. And where were you engaged in community development? Ibe wo do kola tume na community development. Ibe nu minto le. I was in Mandinarin. Please repeat your answer. She said she was at Mandinarin. And what kind of skills were you teaching women to do? I was in Mandinarin. 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 I was engaged in tie and batik, plus also <coughs> making some of the chairs that we are shown on television. I was the one teaching those women how to make those chairs. And it was subsequently that you went into business? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you remember um, around the year 2016? <coughs> Sango kono 2016 sango kono. Ha, ndalo victim wa moto ni nala wala foi la yomidi. Yes, those of us who are victims cannot forget that until the last days. Please have some water, Madam Jai. Ako jio do mim pro ila toto silo. Are you okay, Madam Jai? Yeah. Sorry about the cough. I call Hacker today. I call for okay, Taliban. Totony in Kabatan, I call say Hacker. I had previously asked you if you were employed. A Kay and Yinkalan, Kofun in Tembe and Fuebe Lukola. Can you please repeat the answer that you gave me? I call say Ila Jabiroka and Fuebe Lukola, Feta Lukola, Lafa Fenfen, Manta Fenfen, Say, Boka Fenken. I am not doing anything now. I am unable to do anything. 
And why are you not able to do anything now? Akumuna na ibuka kuke no ifaya sai. Musola doku jama ba abulo le balana singon tela oldumbe mamete ya sai. Most of uh, the woman's uh, means of working is through the hands and the feet. And as it is now, I am unable to do anything with those. And why are you not able to use um, your hands and your feet to work? They broke my hand and they also pushed me down and I dislocated my foot. Okay. My my vision is also not very clear. We will deal with those um, during the course of your testimony, as I have said. Um, and um, we will talk more about those things when we get there. You just started telling us about uh, what happened in the year 2016. Saying ya da motale ka fonye menketa 2016 sangokono. Can you remember the precise date? Ako fo e hakilo sibula alungo fonga la lumme mkolo datita. Ah hakilo sibula la kai. Yes, I can recall. Please tell um, us. What a fonye? Ola kata April 14th. That was uh, the 14th of April. Akanya nta arame salungo lefe. It was on a Wednesday. Thursday. Please proceed. I left home that Thursday. My mother <coughs> has high blood and diabetics. She said that her medicine was almost spent. There was only one tablet left. She asked me to go to the pharmacy and uh, get her some medicine. And I, I told her, okay, so the following morning I picked up my bag and some money and I went to Westfield to get that medicine for her. Tata Westfield. I went to Westfield and I looked for diabetic medicine and high blood medicine. Because uh, she had uh, prescriptions for those uh, medications and uh, I had that paper with me. There was one type called metformin. Bendro BJ. Bendro is also among the medication that she takes. Um, and Bordro BJ more to long asake and then got. There was one she used to put under her tongue, but I cannot remember that name. Don't that an oboral oboral besoto Westfield Pharmacy in the Bendro Mansoto. I was able to purchase all the other medicines from the Westfield Clinic, but Bendro was not available there that day. The lady at the clinic that day uh, wrote a prescription for me and told me to go to the Banjul Pharmacy. Benro will be available there that day. So I crossed the road to the other side where the Banjul vehicles were going to. Towards. And then I saw a crowd behind coming. They, they held a banner which had inscriptions on it. And they were saying something. When they came to me, I recognized an individual who happened to be Solo Sandeng. I uh, There were two individuals that I recognized. Those were my colleagues. Those were people that I worked with. So when he came, I asked him, Solo, what is happening? 
ite afonye ko mitino nyanta soto la bar sai mitino be kala min toleto you told me that there was going to be a meeting so now where will the meeting take place akonye ngani ko ya domandin soto la to le tandi la banko mol he said to me we have uh, one uh, we have one on happy uh, issue which we want to show to the gambian people nkai ni ko ya sifa nyadi i asked i asked what that unhappy event was akonye ko ic mimbi jela wato bantale anyanta falin na le fon se carte fayo tilindi ngo soto he said to me the ic that is in place its mandate is expired they should make changes so that uh, we will have uh, a different uh, Changes for the next elections. Not a dan if be dan la fanampuru e boda min close isaele ni Senegal tema. And we also want to appeal to them so that the border that is close uh, between uh, the Gambia and Senegal will be opened. Ole konko dundin na bankoka. That is what is bringing hunger into our country. Nka ko bar te da maning murunta jens o safe ka di min be ni IC tema ay ta ya samba IC wole jere wole ku mata ndefe nyenti. I said to him left me alone we would we should go back and uh, write and then uh, send that uh, letter to the IEC that for me is is the best course of action to take ntaba da ben kata boru samola mbama nga do soto bari man do soto kata ba nyunate where i am i am going to buy medicines for my mother i have got some but others i have not got and i'm going to buy you right now sai ni nata do mbal ko la be metino ke la daoda isa isa fo nyente sina kontine nga naaje But when I return <coughs> I will call you so that wherever you may be holding the meeting then I will join you Sai motoje na tata jiyoje jitiyoje ni evidence botolo sifa Then I saw uh, someone selling the avian uh, water bottles Adi ndengo ko mande ko nay ji ka bakilen sanyi I called the young chap and I said to the chap uh, sell one of the, of the bottles to me Sai nga ko nyiko nyimi ya nyaka wo block ta be tendala sala jola She said to me this one that you have picked up is blocked so therefore you would pay tendala si Okay okay na 20 dollars so dina nga di drive wala ay tendala so sen di la tendala so do ngam pass wala kata ba nyun I said no problem uh, take the 20 dollars and give to the driver so that uh, he will give you back tendala si you want tendala si I'll use that as my fare to ba nyun Before we continue Madam Jai I I just want to ask you some questions um you mentioned that you saw solo sandeng with a group of people um, yeah, and they were holding a banner Ako jang nimbe tenten la la fte nyinin kala kuma danta la kato iko ye solo sandeng je ban lero lu bebulu uh, la fte nyinin kala wala la nta fa be lori nya be la bawo ngalon ne naka ko ka fole I was standing there myself I know him and because we are also involved in so many things Oto mo fem man tra kere na At that time there was nothing happening. Sai pour ko ta ka bula moto ko nga. I would just like to ask you some follow up questions. Aka be nyinin kala kuma dolle la ici la moy. How do you know Solo Sandeng? Ko Solo Sandeng na nyolo nyaadi le. Nte na mo parti kil na ti UDP. We all belong to the same party the UDP. And who was he with on that particular day? Ko lu Solo Sandeng ni juma nyolle be silo kan. Um o ka foko no in that group. Ma kafu baye suteje a recognize kafu bayo ani modungom and modungom um dolu nge lonne bari me itollo there were others i could recognize but i do not know their names do you know what the banner said the banner that they were holding do you know what was written on it ako iko e bandero me muta safero be membala membe safero nje fo ya lonne ba ndama ndakara mo to den ndama i have not been to school i don't know And do you know what Solo Sandeng and the group of people he was with do you know what they were doing on that particular day at Westfield Ako Solo Sandeng ani wo molu men bebe ka fori nyoma je Westfield yalo ne be men ke kam bang ani ka bir nga ni nka ay nyim fo nyi so nga lon ko woto no mira finte ko ngoti ka tay wala fo nyi when he asked me when i asked him and he told me this i knew that that was the reason for their coming out please please proceed and tell us um where you went to next ako sila yetente ya fo nyen sila mbiru botale tata min dole beren tata ndunta moto ko ne ko banyun fan sin kilo mo selendi moto ko na je piayu la moto ni mburi bakana na ko mala men be kedi bangoko kan so ndeka ko mala jube 
As I was about to board the vehicle, I put one of my feet inside. Then I saw a PIU vehicle coming at high speed. At that time, people were scattered and running around, but I was standing. Because what they were running from, I do not, I did not know, and I did not say anything. I did not do anything, so I was just standing there watching them. As the, the paramilitary vehicle was running, some of the officers were jumping down and chasing after people, and anyone they caught, they were beating them. And I asked myself, what would be the reason for this? Where I was standing, one young man came there. His name is Inspector Sane. He told them this woman that is going is running away. Catch her. I looked at him and I asked him, which woman? Myself? I said to him, I don't know you and you don't know me and you are saying that I'm, I'm running away. I'm, what am I going to run away from? What have I done? He said, these are the big wigs of the UDP. Three soldiers were standing in front of him. They were soldiers. They, they asked me, they asked me, woman, are you a member of the UDP? And I said to them, yes, 100%. Then they said to me, then, well, then get into that vehicle. That same Inspector Sane was the one who said that I should get into that vehicle. But that truck, the way it was like, and the way I, I am, in terms of my size, I knew that I could not climb on that truck. I said to them, I cannot board this truck, because I will not be able to. Then he said, assist her so that she would board. So the, the parents came, and they helped to pick me up and put me onto the truck. Once you, was this the same truck that you saw speeding um, towards you? Ako, fowo moto kilimo wole ni mboriba na tano para luke jolo mengo no ba. Ah, wole wowo moto kilimo. Yes, that was the same vehicle. Can you describe the vehicle to us? Ako moto ni mbenyadi le moto ni ni hakilo ba ka kalamu mbenyadi le. Ela inifu mowe findi ni ame moto be findi wole ni. Just as the uniform is uh, dark, that's the same way that uh, the truck too was dark. They and their vehicle are all, all the same. You also mentioned that you saw PIU officers. Can you tell us how you were able to tell that they were PIU officers? Recognizing the PIU is not difficult. They wore uh, dark uh, uniforms, their shirts, their trousers, and they also had a belt which they would tie on their waist and their, their caps. So they were in full uniform? They full uniform. They Do you were. know whether they were armed? They had guns. What other, we what other um, weapons did they have? They had the pistols which were tied on, on their waists. You also mentioned that they were chasing people and they were beating them. They were beating people seriously and also throwing them onto the truck until the truck was filled up. Was it the same people they were chasing and beating that they later put on the truck? They were the ones they threw into the, the, the vehicle, yes.
and what were they using to beat them? They had, they had buttons and they were also using their fists. Sometimes they run after people and they kick uh, their feet off the ground and then when you fall they will drag you and then two will hold you and throw you onto the vehicle. You mentioned one Inspector Sane that um, you recognized. Did you recognize any other PIU officers at that point? Yeah, in, Inspector Sane meant to phone you. Yeah, lo you suit ele. For your mode of finance, suit ele je wo molo kono uniform ti olu meni biji. Tama suit ele konte bo kan naji bero wole nyonoka. I did not recognize them because I was not even looking at them. Did you eventually get onto the truck? Ako for you na te bulandi moto kono le ba. Yeah, bulandi moto kono. I was put into the truck, yes. Who put you in the truck? The same PIU officers. Please tell us what happened next. Did you go to the car? Did you go to the car? The car was lost. The car was lost. The car was lost. The car was lost. At that juncture, there were some who ran away, those who were able to. The car was lost. The car was lost. The car was lost. And but amongst those that ran away, uh, for I, Lamin Cham, I could not recognize anyone amongst them except Lamin Cham. Um, and in solo, you'll be a He and uh, solo and others went. So, Katunga Moto Kono Jubele Majiji. Because I looked inside the vehicle but did not see him. Moto Nata Utunya Ulanyama, and you will be back, killing him in Nata, and you will Murunta Kotaki. So, the vehicle uh, sped away just as it came in. Moto bota nam banjo nu mafang wala anata nanga lota Westfield nda ton ta kamuru banjo nu mafang wala kota ke fa don ta korda do kon the vehicle came from the banjo end it came and stopped at the Westfield it turned and went straight to the banjo end until it entered into a compound and um, before it actually left Westfield were there any other people that were arrested and put on board um, the truck were you the only woman in the truck Ako jana moto njema bula Westfield. Fu ya moto lumutaleke ilafa moto njema kono bang. Fu itenda mani fa na mumu sauti wamo lukono imenu mutaje. Oh muso lukono fa tu mata kamara bije, fa tu mata jawara bije. There was fa tu mata kamara and fa tu mata jawara as other women. And where did they arrest them? Yao lufana lumuta mintole. Fa tu mata kamara ngaji le ni wobota nang kema fangola. Fatumata Kamara, I saw her coming with them from this side. I don't know where she was uh, seated, but I saw them coming from that side. Fatumata Jawara, I saw them coming with her from a shop. They put her on the vehicle and then they noticed that she had a charm on her waist and they pulled it off and uh, took it away from her. And I said to the young man, please don't hurt her. Then Fatumata removed this charm from her waist and she gave it to them to take away. At that time the vehicle uh, started and they went. Can you just um, explain in what manner she was put in the vehicle? They threw her just the same way as they threw others. And um, just explain um, um, thoroughly how exactly they treated her. What did the PIU officers do to her after they threw her into the truck? bring PIU officer Ya faina moto kuna ube kola inata mune kala kote ke. Ya modul faina ni beju ru mata kang, tenga makoi ka singo bonding ka huo kuhe singo kati tenga ni makoi, ma singo bondi wa molo kwenye kata singo kati. Well, they threw other people inside the vehicle who also fell on top of her. In fact, I assisted her, pulled her legs from beneath some people who were thrown on her. I pulled her towards me because some people were piled on top of her. So I tried my best. I pulled her towards me until she came out of that pile of people.
By that time, Fatma Takamara was sitting nearby. We were the only three women inside the vehicle. As for Fatima Takamara, I asked her, what's happening? What's the cause of all this? She said to me, I was on my way to attend a marriage ceremony. I was sitting down on my own, and they came and they asked me to get up. She said to me, in fact, one of them slapped me. I asked, you did not do anything to him, and he slapped you? She said, yes. Then I mocked her, I teased her a little bit, bit by saying, well, you are too well dressed to be slapped. So, we all went together. So I said to them, now what is left is just to rely on God so that God will fight our fight for us. Because uh, what they are doing right now, even in a country which is lawless, I don't think such a thing will happen there. We were, we were in the truck and uh, we went. After some time, they took a turn on the right and they entered into a house. The gate was opened. PIU officer. That was the PIU office. They said that we should uh, alight. They opened the door to the vehicle and they assisted us to alight. At that point when you arrived at the PIU premises, can you tell us who was on the truck that you remember? Those that they arrested, you mean? Yes, please, and placed on that truck. Uh, they were many. I cannot give uh, their number. Can you remember the names um, of any of them? I was there, Fatumata Kamara was there, Fatumata Jawara was there, Kafubayo was there, Modungom Modungom was there. I recognize these ones from the lot and I also know them. Do you know which of them belong to the group? that was with uh, Solo Sanding at Westfield. Ako, foye mo lu fanali sute kono le, meni alon ko, wole ni Solo Sanding be kafu, kafu nyom, kafu kilin nung, wato meng yeje Westfield. Ah, okay. Yes. Wole m, lan marong? They were lan marong. Abe moto ko, jani falan sonko? He was in the vehicle there, and falai sonko. Ha, wole m, lan ma, eh, eh, Solo Sanding na, doko nyolti adunga, wole lo ni adiwe, fana aresle. Those were solo Sunday's uh, workmates, and uh, these are the ones that were also arrested. Lamaron himself, uh, when he was running, somebody uh, kicked his legs and he, he fell and uh, he was uh, arrested. Somebody hit him here and then they held his shirt and uh, brought him to the vehicle. Do you know if anything um, happened to anyone else um, on the truck whilst you were being driven from Westfield to the PIU premises? No, I did not observe that on anyone. Apart from the men and the women that were on the truck, um, were there anyone else? Was there anyone else on the truck? There were many people on the truck. PIU officers were there. <coughs> were they all adults? For um, Kebalum Dindum Limbije, Mansia School Dindum Fulabije. They were adults, but uh, the 
non-adults who were there were not many. There were two students. And the other young person who could be 25 years was Modungom. And Fatumata Jawara too was a young person. Other than, other than that, I did not see any young person there. The two school children that you saw, can you tell us um, around what age they may have been and Ako, what uh, gender? Ye kara mundo dininflu mfanali jamo toko no. Fuesa phone nye isi is ila sango yiri kano bang ani ibota isa 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 phone bang ibetembe da jumalo. Um, dinding allam maybe sekeno sanji tanin sabanyanti ite tambela allam because dinding allam. They were young people. They could be probably 13 years. They would not be more than that. Do you know under what circumstances they were arrested? They were arrested also and uh, put on that truck. I think they were just coming from school. And as uh, young people, they probably were standing there watching what, what was happening. I don't, I don't know where they came from or uh, the way that they were arrested or how they were arrested. I just happened to see them on the truck. When you got to the PIU premises, what happened next? When we when we got to the PIU headquarters, we disembarked. We were in the middle. The PIU were at one side. Other PIU, PIUs were at the other side. So we walked like that until we took a bend and we were told to get into a room. It's a big uh, spacious room. I don't know if that was their conference room, but that was a wide space. That was a conference room, but that was a wide space. There. Uh, but there were no chairs uh, and no tables. Now they asked us all to sit on the floor. So we all sat on the floor. We were there, and then Yankuba Koli came. Yankuba Koli was the mayor of PIU. That Yankuba Koli was the mayor of PIU. KMC today, he was uh, is their mayor. At that point, was he the mayor of KMC? Akote mbo atelo mayor tinumban KMC. Atelo si din si ranka na nyoje na diamut. He was the one sitting on a chair. I saw him, and we spoke. Um, my question was, at the point um, that he met you at the PIU in 2016, was he then mayor um, of KMC? Because yes, he was the mayor because he was even addressed by that name. Please proceed. He came in inside and looked at everyone. Oh, these people, they have planned the coup. And then he said, these people, they have planned the coup. At that time, he did not know that I was seated there. I said to him, you are not speaking the truth. And then he said, Knox. Oh, you two are here? I said to him, well, you have uh, set your people to arrest those involved in the coup, so we are all arrested. So, and then he left and went away. We were seated there. One PIU uh, man came and squatted close to me and said to me, my mother, and I said, yes. I said to, said to me, do not be angry, uh, take it easy, our leader is coming, 
when he comes, he's going to address you and advise you, and then you will be released to go. I didn't ask him, your leader, what kind of a person is he? And then he said, he's the minister. And I asked, what is the name of the minister? And he said to me, Usman Sonko. I said to him, okay, then you get up and go about your business. At that point, do you know um, what kind of minister Usman Sonko was? Uh, that was the first time seeing him. Do you know which department um, he headed or what ministry he headed? Interior minister. He was the interior minister. Thank you. When I, when I saw him arrive, in fact, when he came in, all of them got up and they were saluting. Then I realized that he was the one that arrived. So then I, then I looked at the uh, young man who spoke to me earlier on and I gave him a signal and he shook his head just to confirm from him that this is the Usman Songo that you talked about. So I looked at him, looked at him completely. Where are, where are, where are, they, where are those, those people? Then he came and stood and he said, where are those people? Where are those people? Where are they? Then he, you be? then he asked, Where are those people? Then I looked at him. Then Yankuba Koli came again. These people, they have planned a coup. And then he said to them, These people, they have planned a coup. Um, Minister Kayako, what? I think, I think that they are planning the coup. There is some, some people behind them. Then the minister said to him, I think they have planned the coup. There are some people behind them. I don't understand English, but I was able to capture these phrases. I cannot forget them. Then I said to them, we did not plan any coup. I said to them, someone that is planning a coup and is not even having a broom, how can that be? Don't uh, exaggerate things here. I said to them, if somebody gives you information, you have to investigate that information to see if there is any truth in that information. Yankuba went before him and they held each, other, each, each other's hands with that. Uh, oh, Inspector Sane, Tom Ablaiet. With that Ablai Sane, Inspector Sane. It admitted that Yankuba called the officer. They went to Yankuba uh, Kuli's office. I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh, Madam Jai. Mr. Interpreter, did she not say that um, they were not able to. Um, do a coup yes, against the people the statement who was carrying guns. That somebody who doesn't have a broom or even uh, a stick uh, to, to, to clean his or her teeth, how can that person organize a coup against people with guns? Yes, that was missing in the interpretation. That's what my I wanted to bring. My apologies. Thank you. Please carry on. After they left, then they returned. Then they said that, that, that I should get up and hold that banner, myself and Mudum Ngom, so that we could be photographed. I said to them, 
I, I cannot hold a banner that is in your possession, which I do not know which, what is written on it. I am not going to school. I don't know what the implications of that is, and you still want me to hold that and uh, be photographed. Uh, I will not do that. It was then that they read what was uh, inscribed on the banner. Then I said, well, that is nothing. That was when I got up, held one side of the banner, and Mudungom also held the other, and we were photographed. And then they went into a, a room. Inside that uh, living room, there was one uh, room there. Inata uh, then they brought in handcuffs. Before they handcuffed you and um, you were holding this banner with um, Murungam, where exactly were we you? Where exactly were you within the PRU um, premises? Ako jani handcuffs ke bulola. Ibe tu lorin tu mo mena inu Murungam aliyo ban lero muta. Ali be PRU la minto ma fanne watu mo. Siri la salo kono kafu dami efo. A conference room or a photo room, baby, sitting yelled. We were inside that uh, room that I told you with this big room, which I'm not sure whether it's a conference room. Do you know why you were asked to do this? Yeah, I don't know. But the little me, I can do. Could you will yell, 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 willing to anya kal natal? Anima wala. No, I don't know. Before your arrest, did you hold that particular banner? Ja ni be mutala. For itelu yo bal nero mutala numbang. Not at all. And do you know what the PIU officers were doing whilst you were holding um, the banner with Modungam? Ako wato me ni Modungam yo balle romuta. Foya lone ban PIU la officer lo be mune keka no wotu mo. Hani. No. Were they taking photographs? Ako fo ye natalo luta jele bang. Yes, they only photographed myself and Modungom. Do you know why they did that? No, I don't know. Okay, please carry on with your evidence. Then a woman came with handcuffs. She went straight for me. She said that I should do my hands like this. And then she handcuffed both of my hands. One PIU individual also went and handcuffed Murungam. They had a list and they said Kafu Bayo. Modu Jabang. Modu Jabang. Solo Sande. Solo Sande. Kato Utumo is Solo Mutale Nata Fena. At that time, Solo was arrested and he was brought in. At that time, I had uh, given $5,000 to Solo on board when we were on inside the truck. Because when coming towards the Westfield Johnson, I boarded a vehicle which brought me to the Westfield Johnson. So, that was a passenger vehicle. There was space inside the vehicle. I called him in fact and told him, come on board this vehicle. There is space inside the vehicle. Then at the PIU there, that's the time when he was called and handcuffed. They tied his hands. Then Solo was the first person to be taken out from that room. Yeah, but and the motor yacht on Cocon. They put him inside inside a pickup, which was the lead vehicle. Pickup coyo. A white pickup. Eko Modungom for Nayako. I'll tap the alibi and pick up Dokon. And they informed Modungom also to go and board that same pickup vehicle. So Berim Bulato Motokono. I'll be a Bulata Kono Bank. Tani Modungom. Yes, when I also boarded myself and Modungom, we all boarded the same vehicle. The next vehicle following our vehicle, that's where Kafu Bayo and others were put inside. But in the motor nyato. But uh, in front of our vehicle. Ke balabado mobile full of fossa bolo chafu nga bulo kona tedun ta nyato natal tat. There was somebody heavily built man who was holding about three mobile phones in his hand. He boarded the vehicle, the front 
a seat of the vehicle and we, we left with him. Um, at a Nalo, Nyaton Colomati, because Axono Yatna Nadiko Nyaton Colom, but Utum Malo. I knew that he was some sort of a leader because of the actions he took and the way he was comporting himself. But I knew straight off that he's a vehicle, but at that time, I don't know him. We went until we passed the Denton Bridge. Uh, we, were a mile two, we were going towards Banjul, and after the mile two prisons. Before we get to Banjul, I'd just like to ask you some follow up questions. This heavily built man with three mobile phones, did you later um, come to know who he was? Yes, I know his name and so name because I made inquiries. When we got there, he took one of the mobiles and, and made a call. At that Please. time, we had gone past mile two. Please, Madam Jaya, just tell us who he is. I know that it was later that you came to know him, but just at this point, can you tell us who he was? Operation Commander. He was the Operations Commander. NIA. Of the NIA. And apart from him, um, were there any other senior security officials at PIU, apart from him, Yankuba, Kuli, as well as the Interior Minister Usman Sonko. Did you see any other senior security officials there? Nimmo Sabul Kola, Yankuba Kuli, Minister Memo Interior Minister, and Ninying Operations Manager Memo Teng. For a Nyatun Kotamu Jijele, many along with Ninimmo Sabo Manke Kilinti. PIU Fata Motol Komale. Well, the PIUs were full at the back of the vehicle. But so I don't know them, I don't know their names, and I did not inquire about them. What about the soldiers that you mentioned that were on board the truck that, had, you know, that um, was carrying you from Westville to PIU? So, you know, I did not get to know them. And um, the operations um, commander of the NIA, did you get to know what his name was? The operations commander NIA was the name of the NIA. What was his name? Sir Omar Jiang. Sir Omar Jiang. Please tell us what happened when you got to the NIA premises in Banjo. I was able to get to the NIA premises in Banjo. I was able to get to the NIA premises in Banjo. I was able to get to the NIA premises in Banjo. I was able to open the gate. We are waiting to come in. He was uh, making a call and saying to them, open the gate. We are on our way coming. I was able to get to the NIA premises in Banjo. I was able to get to the NIA premises in Banjo. I was able to get to the NIA premises in Banjo. And when they said that, I said, these people, I don't know where they are taking us to. Because at that time, when I hear the name NIA, I used to think it was uh, situated uh, around the provinces. Madam Jai, you've told us that you haven't been to school, is that correct? I'm not sure Well, if you should leave here and go to Europe, you'd be able to speak a little bit of English. Because I was in some England. months. I was in England for some months. <laughs> so that's how you got to learn English. Ah, so Nina Tiba Muso no Mala Muso Nak Angale Kamuda Malafo. So my uh, younger my, younger brother's uh, wife, we used to speak a little bit of English. And also <laughs> and also <laughs> also, my place is a tourist center, and we used to go to the uh, beach to befriend wild people. <laughs> and we used to speak to them. In we used to speak to them in Swedish, whether we had it right or not. So, we, which is why, for every uh, language, I I speak a little bit of it. Because I have a sharp mind. If you tell me something once, I am able to do it. When we got in there, 
Inata Molijindi Motokon. Then we were brought down from the vehicle. Nina Hankofo. With our handcuffs on. He beja nyani solo ni moto yul tan bindili. They this they separated us solo and the others they we were taken away. Yenteni modungom londi luo to him aje. I was standing at the center there myself and modungom. Kafubaya yul fana moto na to fana tambita nto la yul fana sambanya to. The vehicle carrying Kafubaya and others went past us. Um, at this point, can you tell us um, what happened to the two other ladies you were with, Fatumata Kamara and Fatumata Jawara? You haven't mentioned them since they were arrested and put on board the boat. The last time I saw them was at the PIU. I don't know where they were taken. I did not know about their whereabouts. At that time, nobody was thinking about the other. What you are worried about was for yourself. Please continue and tell us what happened at the NI. They now took Modu Ngom away. And the two other boys. So I was left alone. I then called a lady. I said to her, help me and take these handcuffs off my hands. One was uh, inside and said to her, come and take the key and uh, remove them. She went, pick up, picked up the key, came and uh, removed the handcuffs. And then she said to me, get into this room. At what time of the day um, was this? At what time of the day was this? At that time, the sun was hot, but I don't know what time it was. I was not having a watch and I was also not having a mobile phone. Tiloba kandiri wolong ikamura ko niye dimbale wanka ngkungoto. Nka tarale faka jiye duma. Fo ikamura niye juo bongkoto duma wara ngansu mnajie. The sun was so hot and I became so sweat. I became, I felt so much sweat on my body that I thought that if, if, if somebody has poured a bucket of water on me. Then they took me inside that room. Ye inkilandi. They brought ink, 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 safari landua. Uh, they brought a, pa, a pad, a stamping pad. So you can bulo killing all the thing. Then they take, they took my hands. Yembulo kondo ngoli beke wole nyama. Each of my fingers were put on that pad and also put on the paper. Yeah, yembulo kondo ngoli beleta. Yembe beleta ni nano be. All my four fingers were fingers printed. Oto te yembulo ye. They kept that paper. One elderly man came there, a tall figure with white beard, with counting beads. They told me to follow that old man, he will take me to somewhere when he goes out of this room. Madam Jai, sorry to interrupt you again. Um, at this point, where were you? Where were you processed and where was your fingerprint um, taken? Which part of the NIA premises were you at? I was taken When you get into the NIA complex, the first room that you have at the right, there's a table there, but further in, there are chairs there and a table. That's where they call the reception. We went with this elderly person. He was going towards a particular direction, and I followed him. That place had stairs and we climbed. He looked at me and asked if I was uh, putting on any beads. I 
I asked him, an ordinary person like you asking me that question, why would you not ask that uh, to your wife? But uh, he did not respond to me again. He opened the door and told me to wait for him. In that room, I found one woman seated. I don't know where she came from. She was sitting down with a veil covering her head and her hand was just under, his, under her mouth. I asked her, have you been here for a long time? She told me that she spent two weeks there. I asked her what has been done to you. She said, well, nothing has been done to me as yet. I told her to have faith in Allah. Do you know who this woman was? Yo, Musolo Nebang. Malo. No, I don't know her. But after Nabi, not a Dembunkil. But afterwards, we were all put inside uh, inside the same room. At the Fanabato, Hola Masakunda, Bunda Doloto. She was working in one of the government departments. I come on me for you to run in Kali. Because of what she told me, you know, I asked her. Where she worked, what department, she told me, but I have forgotten. But Kodole filter department or so I tell me not But money was missing in that department and she happened to be the head of that department. She said to me at the time when that money was uh, missing, she was on leave. So And that was the reason why she was arrested. I said to her, well, if at all you are not the one that did it, then don't be afraid of anything. God will save you. Let's all sit here and have faith in God. Do you hear? Okay. These are tall, older person, elderly person took me until we uh, got to somewhere. Uh, you had Bahama grass this side. These are tall Bahama grass. They used to manicure them. See, he took a right bend there. There's another house there, a big house. It's a house, but it had uh, a, 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 a wire goes outside. When you are outside, you are able to see someone who is seated inside. He opened up the door. He got inside and opened another door. The one that is... And I was following, and, and I was following him along. Then he said to me, sit here and wait for me, I'm coming. He went out and uh, left. Then he returned. When he came back, he opened the doors and said to me, come out. I followed him. He took, he took me one uh, path. We went there, I saw offices. They gave me a chair and they asked me to sit down. Also there I found one lady, she had a book and also other four men. At that time, two other men came and sat where I was seated. And then they were asking me, they first asked me my name. My surname and where I came from, and I told them all of that. And then they asked me what party I belonged to. I told them that was not the reason why I was there. Then they asked me, well, if that is not the reason why you are here, then what is the reason why you are here? I said to them, I was on my way, going on my normal business, then I was arrested, and that is how I found myself here. When they asked me, that was the only thing I could explain to them, and nothing else. Because I don't know anything about my coming here.
kedo na ta balaba koyma one man came is a heavily built guy fair in complexion ala donaka green do ya jame o sobelum he had a green uh, dress ya yeah, jame ashobi on because o sobi ya fata fonto le fanga ya abe mol bolo ji because that ashobi also even came up to us he had, he had uh, this uh, heavily built guy with a protruding stomach and his uh, fair in complexion aka france kam lafo anin jola kam he was speaking french and jola bela fata ko yemo waxul dara when he came he asked them in wolof she has not said anything fi dang fi wax by force so so la nane kane ñun ñoo len gëna nane kane mané ko fit say he said here you must speak if you uh, drink uh, pepper we have drunk more pepper than you have ya ko diya tat i responded to him uh, and, and, and then he left and then returned o fana ay ñi ne ka fo man kuma fo ko tak and then he asked them whether i have not said anything yet e ko nga ñi ne ka me la de ay o dam ma fa do ko la man fem fo they said to him well uh, the questions that we ask her she has responded to those but Una, she has not said anything else a ko lutax ngeen yokko tok nu tok and then he asked why did you give her a seat to sit on yena tok bi nga tok ci souf then uh, she asked he asked me to get her from the uh, seat and sit on the ground and diamo be be fatiare and all of his uh, speech was harsh da ngeen dof dof lu way da ngeen xamne ñun ñoo leen gëna nani kaani you you make yourself look as if uh, you are mad but we, you will know that we are the people who are, are madder than you and this gentleman that you described uh, as heavily built with a protruding stomach you mentioned that he was speaking jola and um, french iko ñing iko ñing ke kono ba mem be diam kanté ab sangara ring atendu mo koyoleti ak jola kam ni france kam le fo fo le mba wala mo kato amanke mba ko dimoti yes he was the one because he was not uh, he is not a native of this country wa mol be siari kono fa min yalla ko lu manke ñim banko di molti there were many people amongst them who were not citizens of this country sun tanga lo banko banko africa kono mo mo ni la mandragolo mo mo ni la alhalolo because i know that every country in africa everybody you have your own futures so nga lo ko ate bota senegal i know that he came from senegal parce que nanata mais alors ki waxul dara because when he comes he'll be speaking in french and be asking if oh, uh, to la la this individual has not spoken anything yet that so, is not well, that's the reason why i also responded to him saying fait say what is that, um, what is what does that mean wo ko doomu mune di fait say wala tajana that means get away <laughs> so another ta then he left after ke ba nata kam majje ko tak And then this okay, elderly, back that this elderly uh, man the same elderly man that i was following came back and collected me akonye kai and he said to me come fin sambula ta no i went out and followed him and said i am bondi kaso min kono ayam bulandi je kotake we returned back uh, from the cell that he took me away from and he put me back there akonye mbatu jangana and he said to me wait for me here i will come back At this point you've already mentioned that you were not told why you were arrested. Were you given an opportunity to contact a family member or a lawyer? Ako nyin tembe way ri wayata ra ima fo ye muta dalilo men kan. Foy nata silo dilale pour ye diam ibadi mo liye wala ila dimbaya liye wala foy ye si diam lawyer. Eh you know ma hada wala la wala. Well these people they have no human humanity in them. ina tilim bali yale long bar hadama ya ko ima wolo de no cruelty they don't know any humanity ka tonta nga lo lu wabe banko min kan ni mo muta janni ka li pay nyanta nyinen ka la because i know that in a country which is governed by laws na i mean foy before you beat somebody up you have to tell them what they have done na i mean foy na me satisfy yi nyinen ka ro kis kis ro ka ko wala ka tu ena e dalilo moldi and when they g- tell you things that you are not satisfied about you investigate that is why the nia was established ba banko nia lo koy kes kes lo ko kurumol la because the country established the nia to investigate about uh, bad uh, people sai ni do fa mo kurumol te ma kes kes then if they happen to be the bad people themselves la tane lu wa ñin jen kendi e pansu lu wata will they investigate that is why they set the country's law aside and they adopted their own rules so kabirin ay atata kotake 
So after that, I didn't come back young or not. He came in with a tall boy. He opened those two doors again and said to me, Go, this one will accompany you. When he was coming, he came with two elders. But all of them did not want me to recognize them, so they covered their faces. So in my mind, I believed that they knew me and I was... I am the one who cannot recognize them. And this is why they don't want me to see their faces. When we came out, I was following that young man. We were going by the side of a building going. The young man raised up his face and I saw that he was crying. Then on the way he told me, Mother, I am also sent. I said, I said, okay, let's go. As far as you are sent, let's just let's go. So that building we were walking beside was a story building. That's where Sehumar Jeng's office was located. We went. We went there uh, uh, on the ground floor of that story building. There is a small room uh, uh, there on the ground floor. We went in there. The moment we arrived, he told them, here she is. That's, where, that's the time I knew that this place is not going to be an easy place. Now he is showing me to certain people. Um, so when we took a bend, I also decided to stand. They had this black cloth in their hands. They wanted to blindfold me by force, and I also got hold of the cloth in their hands. Madam Jai, before we um, continue, we need to take a break, and then we will then um, go into what you were about to tell us. Mr. Chairman, it's already time for the break. Thank you, Council, and thank you, Madam Jai. We will take a 30-minute break and come back at 10 past, summer 12. Thank you. Meeting is adjourned.